Kyle Schwarber, the Phillies nominee, kind enough to take some time with us this morning on MLB Central. Kyle, good morning to you. Thank you so much, and congratulations on this nomination. I've seen you at work. We've seen the video. You're shaking every first responder's hand. Can you feel the impact you're making? Good morning to you. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, guys. Thanks for having me on. Uh, yeah, you know what? It's, it's special. Uh, you know, you get... Uh, very unique opportunity to, to meet a lot of individuals who, um, you know, one, it might not uh, be a great time in their lives, but also, two, you get to make a, a you know, a, a positive impact on, on them. And you don't know if that's going to last for a day, a week, a month or a year or a lifetime. You know, I think that's the most important thing that uh, is, is really fun for, for us, that we can just go out there and give them a little bit more sense of not just us as a baseball player, but us as a person. And Kyle, you said the impact you found in Schwarber's Neighborhood Heroes. That doesn't just impact the hero, right? It impacts their family. How so? Yeah, you know, I think that's the biggest thing. You know, everyone wants, you know, the the sacrifices that you see uh, first responders, military personnel, what the, those men and women make on a daily basis is, is massive, right? But also, too, the kind of the unsung uh, heroes of, of it all are the family members, Um you know, that the, the spouse is keeping everything uh, locked down at home, making sure kids are needing to be where they need to be at, uh, you know, getting the sports events. And sometimes, you know, I was one of the lucky uh, kids growing up that uh, dad came home. And, you know, there's going to be a lot of families out there who aren't that uh, that lucky. So, um, you know, the, the be able to be a supporting uh, role in that is, is massive. Swarbs, hey man, it's Case. So great to see you nominated for this Clemente Award, brother. You know, your dad, Greg, for 30 years, police chief out there in Middletown. Your mom, Donna, was a retired nurse. How much did they influence you in the, in the work that you do? Yeah, you know, it, 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 was, it was huge where pretty much my dad would pick me up from school almost every day, and I finished the, the, the day at work with him. And got the first kind of clubhouse feeling at the police department, and obviously got to the work with. Uh, he worked with the fire department closely, and then with my sister being in the military, uh, my mother being, uh, you know, a nurse. I saw the saw kind of those sacrifices that they're making on a daily basis, and also to see how they gave one myself and my sister the, all the opportunities in the world to go out there, you know, with baseball, where we would be out in the field, uh, just throwing and you know dad would throw me baseballs i'd hit mom would be out shagging and the way that they get this opportunity to do what she wanted to do with horses and uh things like that it was unbelievable so you know the way that they went out there and took care of their business and the way that they dealt with individuals on a daily basis was for, uh, second to none so i thank them a lot kyle I, we just had sal perez in and i feel like Kind of the two of you, very similar with the the infectious personality. How are you able to compete at the highest level, but have such an amazing feel for the entire room and making trying to make everyone be a part of it, especially through this being nominated for the Roberto Clemente Award? But I watched you do it during the WBC. You just have this gravitational pull that people want to be around. Where do you think that comes from? Um, you know, I, I, th I definitely think it comes from your upbringing and, you know, that's where it starts where, you know, you, you see the way that, uh, you know, dad, you know, is having conversations with people. You know, I, I, there's a brief story that, you know, where we're at a gas station and this guy comes up to him and goes, you don't remember me, but you arrested me 30 years ago. And they had a conversation. <laughs> right? you know? I swear, wow. you know, wow. and they, they had a great they had a great conversation. And, you know, they're smiling and, uh, you know, it's it, so it starts there. Then you go into high school, you go into college and next thing you know, you're in professional baseball and you have a great group of veterans and in, in Chicago that um, make you feel, you know, make you feel right a part of it right away. So, you know, it's just like you have all these things that were so, you know, great growing up is you want other people to kind of have that and also being able to. The, the listen is such a big thing too, right? You know, not just being able to just not talk and talk and talk. And if you can listen, you know, I think yeah. not just in baseball, it's a great, great key aspect for life, you know, being able to listen to everyone else and, uh, you know, and, and take in a lot of different opinions. So I think it's really cool.
Well, Kyle, congratulations on being the Philadelphia Phillies nominee for the 2024 Roberto Clemente Award. Schwarber's Neighborhood Heroes, you and your wife Paige and that organization doing some really great work. Thanks again for the time. Congratulations. Appreciate you guys. You guys have a good day.